Hey guys, it's Shion from the Pendit and today I'm in the new pharmacy building on Bush and I'll be reviewing my third black fondant pen in a row, um, the Faber-Castell Basic. I'm going to go over the pen real quick, tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it, after which I'm going to go from top to bottom and explain every single aspect of the pen to you and then we're going to do a writing sample. Cool? Okay, so this is a cartridge converter that takes standard international long or short cartridges um, however, the, it only works on selective converters. Um, I have a Schmidt converter in here right now. I didn't try a Pelican converter in it yet, um, but I don't think it'll work. The Jinhao standard converters do not work in this. Um, the pen does post, you can post this thing, but it becomes comically long. Um, also, it doesn't post very securely. Now, David from Thickboot, his um, his pen does post pretty securely, and you can hear an audible pop. Uh, but for me, you can't, at least not as much. Um, even though it's pretty long, it is still pretty well balanced. It, with and without the cap, the cap almost does nothing to the pen. Um, unless you have very large hands, I wouldn't suggest you to post this. Um, but otherwise, this is a pretty long pen, just to, begin, just to have it like this. Um, it's a pretty nice weight. It's comfortable to write with for long writing sessions. It has a rubber grip, which I'll go into. Um, it's not rubber, but it's like like rub like plasticky rubber, uh, which is the same as the cap, which is actually pretty nice to hold on to while having like long writing sessions. All right, so I'm gonna go from top to bottom and tell you every single thing about the pen. Let's start from the cap. Um, the cap is um, rather like barrel shaped, it it's it's thinner on both the sides and then wider the middle. Uh, on one side it does have the Faber Castle logo, um, and on the other side it's completely blank. Um, the top of the cap is kind of indented in a concave shape uh, with a dimple for the injection molding. Right below that there's a slit. I don't know why the slit exists because it really puts the pen off, at least for me. Um, it really sets the clip in a really weird angle. They might have done it so you can actually remove the clip, which I just did for the first time. Um, and now it looks okay. With the clip, it doesn't look that great. Um, now I can't put the clip back. Oops. Give me a second. I'll cut to when I can't put the clip back. All right, so the clip's back in. Um, I'll show you how to remove the clip and put it back in during the writing sample. Um, the clip is, again, I don't like it as much. The pen overall is pretty good. I like the pen, but I just don't like the cap or the aspect of the cap. I, I'm pretty sure they could have done it in a much better fashion. Um, the clip is rounded off at the top and then curves to a flat bottom. Um, it also flares out just a little bit. Um, the cap uh, transitions to the barrel uh, through a step down and an ink window. Um, the ink window has a very simple function to it, uh, just like the one on the Lamy 2000, which is just to show if there is ink or not. Um, it's so small, you can only tell if there's ink or not, and you can't see the level of the ink, which is okay-ish for me. I kind of prefer that. Um, after that, the, the barrel is completely carbon fiber. It's straight. Uh, and at the end, you have a tiny step down, and at the end, there's kind of a uh, finial, which is again concave shaped, um, which seems like it's metal. All right, guys, let's move to the section. Um, there is a slight step down from the barrel to the ink window, but absolutely zero step down from the ink window to the section. Um, it's a pretty long section, and the grooves on it do hide the fact that there's a transition between the ink window and the section itself. The section is made of plastic, but it's not a really cheap plastic. It feels like a rubberized plastic. You can grip well to it, and you can hold the pen in a variety of angles, from all the way from here to all the way down to the nib. Um, I hold it somewhere there, just so you can have a little bit of flourishing left um, while you're using it. Uh, it's a it's a straight section, but you're not, your hand is not going to slip uh, because, again, of the grooves that it has. Right below that, the section, um, there is a small step down to a plastic insert that holds a nib. Um, the nib is a standard Faber-Castell nib uh, with the dimples and without a breather hole. 
which aesthetically I do like. Uh, the reason I bought this pen is because everyone I talked to looking for a really wet pen um, said that Faber-Castell pens are really wet and juicy, but that hasn't been my experience. The pen isn't overly dry either. It's somewhere on the middle range that is almost as wet as a Twisby Eco or a Pilot Custom 74, um, but it's not really, really wet. Um, the feed also looks pretty cool from the bottom, but I don't know what help that's going to be because you're not going to be able to see the feed. But when you're admiring it during meetings or during um, when you're just bored in lecture, then it's pretty good to just look at. Alright, so that's the review of the pen. I'm going to go to a writing sample real quick and I'm going to show you how to both remove and put the um, cap back on if you don't like it. Alright guys, here's the writing sample for the uh, Faber Castell loom. But before I start, I do want to show you how to remove the clip if you want to. Um, so just take the pen in your hand open the clip a little bit, hold it on top, and then use your this thumb to just push it out. It should come off, off pretty easy. Um, and, but I don't like it like this, even I even though I hate this clip. I like it less like this because now it does roll everywhere. Um, if you do want to put the clip back in, you can't put it straight because this thing is slightly bent that way uh, just so that the clip can have tension. So what you would have to do is come at it from the side. So you'll have to, can you see the insert right there? So you can see, yep, you can see the insert, it's focusing. Um, come at it, put this thing in from the side and once it's in a little bit, you can turn in the front and then just push it and then your clip's back in place. All right, let's just go to the writing sample. This is the Faber Castell Basic with a medium nib and the ink is Lamy Blue Black. And this is what the ink looks like. Uh, and here it is against Gerbin Blue Nuit and Rora Inkin Nasalix. Um, all of these are pretty nice blue blacks. They aren't overly black, uh, but they aren't overly blue either. Uh, Lamy Blue Black is really in the middle of everything. This is a little more muted, this is a little more glimmery. Uh, Lamy Blue Black is pretty good. It's a decent enough ink um, that performs much better than Blue Nuit, uh, but not as well as Rodin Kling Salix. But I can only put this in gold-plated nibs or completely solid gold nibs without any plating on it. Um, I've been using this in my Lamy 2000 for about a year now, and it hasn't given me any issues. Because, you know, it's a Lamy pen and a Lamy ink, so it actually should not give me any issues. So it's good it didn't. Right, let's move to the writing sample. I've never had this pen skip on me, or bleed on me, or have any hard starts. Like... In that sense, it's a pretty nice and juicy pen, but in all honesty, it's a pretty medium pen in relation to how wet it is. Um, the downstroke does tend to be slightly wetter because I put pressure down and more ink comes in through capillary action. Um, it doesn't flex as much, uh, but if you really want to, you can get a little line variation out of it. But overall, it's a pretty rounded off nib. Um, let's try flexing it just a little bit more. See, it's not that flexible. Right, uh, let's try its signature to see if it skips at all. I'm doubting it will. Yep, nope, no skipping. It's perfectly fine. Um, it does, when you turn the pen like this, it does have more feedback than other pens I've used. Um, but that might just be because of the grind, or that might just be the grind of this nib. Alright, um, so thanks guys, I'll see you in a second. Alright, thanks guys, that's it from me for the faber Castell Basic. Uh, I hope to see you guys soon, but, and until then, stay safe. Okay, I just hope that was recording.